Thank you so much, Jonathan. And it's going to be a busy week. We have a lot of events going on, including Comic-Con Hawaii Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's at the Hawaii Convention Center. And this is how your forecast is going to shape up. You see about 80 degrees you can see to start off the day. So very warm and we will be seeing mostly sunny conditions, a mix of sun and clouds. So maybe some superheroes coming around as well. And I think superhero weather too, a mix of sun and clouds into the evening hours. Also, the sixth annual Makapu'u Twilight concert, our very own Dylan Enchenta is going to be emceeing it. And it's going to be a beautiful evening with onalicious music. Also, he makes the sun and clouds during the early part of the event. And then under the stars looking really nice. So a beautiful event to go to there. And the HCRA 2023 State Championship over Hilo Bay. Hilo Bay winds are going to be about 10 to 25 miles per hour. And notice how the day is going to shape up on Saturday there is going to be a warm one and we are going to be tracking a lot of changes in the forecast with windy conditions. We're tracking Dora over the eastern Pacific. It continues to go through rapid intensification intensifying to a category four hurricane and then notice by the time it goes into the central Pacific it still holds on as a hurricane and it's going to be well south of the islands. Also this week's full moon sure has been a beauty tonight. It's waning it is 97% full, rises at 831, and it's a super moon and also the sturgeon moon. Area of high pressure is going to continue to bring on that small craft advisory over the eastern end of the state. Still bumpy, choppy seas and rough conditions out there. And surf is going to be on its way down for many spots, but three to five on south facing shores, three to five on east facing shores. And your island by island forecast is going to be calling for east winds across the state. We are going to be seeing about 15 to 20 at times 30 miles per hour over Maui County. Here's a quick look at Hawaii Island. You see afternoon clouds and it's going to be pretty nice overall. Seven day forecast calls for nice afternoons the next several days. You can block kids from using certain apps and websites with safety features, but many have learned how to get around them. Jamie Tucker discovered that a feature most parents use still allows kids to visit banned websites. A lot of parents use screen time to limit how much time their kids can use certain apps. For example, if they limit Instagram to just an hour a day, once the kids hit that limit, Instagram won't open. But here's something parents don't know. Kids can visit Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok and others in a web browser. And if they go to those sites in incognito or private mode, it won't be blocked and parents won't know how much time they're spending on them. Because websites visited in incognito or private mode don't show up when you check screen time. A parent serious about blocking certain websites can go into settings on their kid's phone. Under screen time, choose content and privacy restrictions. Make sure it's turned on. Add a password if you're asked. You can choose to allow or block certain apps and websites. And then under content settings, find limit adult websites and turn it on. This disables the use of incognito mode on iPhones. So any website they visit will be included in screen time, which you can check. I should mention this only works in the Safari browser. If they have Google Chrome or another browser on their phone, they can visit any website for as long as they want in incognito mode and parents won't know they've been there. And there is no way to disable incognito mode on a phone. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.